Hey everybody, uh, thanks for dropping by to check out the uh, little video I got for Titanfall. This is a, a little bit different than what I normally do. I like to do live commentary, but uh, this has like open mic and so I didn't want folks playing on my team to be <laughs> distracted by me rambling and talking about the game as we play. Uh, so this is just going to be a quick match here. My son actually played quite a bit of Titanfall. Uh, we got into the beta yesterday and he played a good several hours a lot more time than I did uh, in fact he unlocked almost everything that I have in the game I'm not going through and like showing you everything in the game I just wanted to come in and play a match he doesn't know some folks are curious about how it plays and like why are you playing this uh, you know I, I wanted to try something because I really felt disappointed by the Call of Duty Ghosts and really let down by Battlefield 4. So I'm, I just, I'm not going to pre-order this at all. I want to play it first and kind of make that decision. Is this something I want to get into? And then it's like, well, how does it compare to those two games? Well, this is a lot closer to Call of Duty than it is to Battlefield 4. Uh, you might say, well, this has got vehicles. Well, yeah, you have your Titan, but it's small matches. It's like five people on a team. So it, it's definitely a lot smaller scale than Battlefield 4. Plus you don't have a whole lot of vehicles. I mean, it's the Titan that you summon. So you don't have that vehicle overload like you might have with Battlefield 4. That's not bad. I like vehicles, so that's never been a problem for me. But having just uh, you know, the one Titan per person that they can call down at different points in the game definitely keeps you from feeling the overload. So this is more of the uh, Call of Duty style. Now when you have your Titan, it's actually very, very cool because they've done a really good job of integrating the play of your Titan we with the people the so that one isn't totally over dominating the game. So the Titans, yeah, they're tough. And if you were just to sit there as your little infantry person, you probably would take a very, very long time to take down a Titan. But you'll see later on, they've actually got some ways as infantry to take down Titan. Uh, now this game I popped in is the Assassin. I'm not very good with the Assassin. My son fell in love with the Assassin. And mostly he fell in love with the uh, this gun here, the Smart Pistol. What it does is it takes a couple seconds and it locks onto a target and then regardless of where you're like aiming on the screen, the bolts will go and seek out that person. So that's why sometimes you see me not aiming. I'm hoping and waiting for that auto aim to kick in. And, you know, here I get a few folks with that auto aim. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk like, is that overpower? Not really, because there's several times in the game people run and I'm trying to chase them down and I can't get the auto lock to kick in and so they end up killing me. So it's not super overpowered. Plus, in the game, not only do you have other players that you play with, but they also have, um, like, grunts. They're kind of like these AI-controlled folks. And the AI-controlled folks are a lot easier to kill than the actual players. And I don't know what the ratio of, like, AI player to, um, you know, real person is. And I don't know if it's to balance it out or make both sides have exactly X amount of players. I just know that they have some because my son... He was watching me play, and I was like, man, look at all these people I'm killing out, because I tried to snipe, and I'm like, pow, pow, pow. And at the end of the match, it said I had killed zero people. And he's like, oh, you probably killed some of the grunts. Your titan is I'm like, ready oh, to okay, drop. that's nice to know. When ready. So, depending on who you're trying to kill, it, it, killing the people people with the actual OP smart right. pistol, uh, they dodge a lot better, so it's not quite as easy to just lock on and kill people as you think. I got stuck on him. I couldn't move past him to get out of the door. Uh, so, it takes me a while here. I die quite a bit, but after a few seconds, I start to kind of get my pace a little bit. Uh, my son definitely is a lot better at using that. But it's fun, I have to admit. Like, if you just want to talk about fun factor, it's actually pretty fun when I compare it to, say, a Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghost. I don't think anybody has any hacks for it yet. I mean, the game's new, so hopefully nobody here is using wall hacks. I didn't feel like it. I felt like whoever I was trying to kill, I was actually hitting, so it doesn't seem to have that bad net code or hit registration that Battlefield 4 has. 
and that could be because you know there's a lot fewer players per side the maps are pretty good like I was just running around a little bit here at times just to kind of explore and check things out and the map even though it's kind of like this one map for the whole beta it's pretty big and I never felt like you know I was just running over the same place over and over again you know I actually got to feel like you know I am actually out and exploring a little bit so it has pretty good graphics and the thing about the graphics is this here is uh, the beta is capped on how good you put your graphics the screen resolution was like a 1200 by something and the textures were on like a medium so if you watch there will be some spots where the textures look kind of blurred out but they I think they did that on purpose one to help with performance two when you're playing the game and you're running you don't really notice kind of the blurred graphics and so it really does help with performance um, but I think they also do that too because you know they don't want to show you the full graphical beauty of the game before it's released they want to give you something to look forward to when you actually purchase the game so there, yeah, this is some of my time with just running around So this is where I was talking about how you can, as an infantry person, you can have an effect on these, these titans without actually having to, you know, call down your own titan or be on a lot of anti-titan weapons. This is pretty neat. My son told me you could do this. I didn't even know you could do this, but he was like, yeah, I just hop up on the titan and just shoot it in the head of us. Oh, okay. So let's try it. So that's why I tried there. Yeah, sure, it works. Me popping in the mine. Now, I'm not very good with the pipe like, once I get in here. <laughs> this is not my, my strong suit. Um, you know, so I definitely want to run around and find people that I can shoot at, but really the pipe needs to find more to go and take out other pipes. Now the Titan play is a little bit slower because you don't have all the sprinting and double jumping and parkour that your infantry has. But you know, definitely can feel the power of it. do pack some power so I'm just not good with it. Decide, let's go take this guy out. And what was interesting too here, like, I kept thinking, wow, who's going to shoot me off of the Titan? And not once did I receive any kind of anti-infantry fire, so I don't know if you're just that hard to spot. Like a lot of people probably don't think to look on top of their own titans on their team to see if people are on them. Because you figure just the titans will take care of themselves. You're more in more worried and concerned about the infantry titan or the enemy titan than your own. And so I think that will probably be a tactic We're that, for the that will spotted. be uh, oh. utilized quite a bit to take these things down until Command people office. start thinking forward. about, you know, we need to escort our Titan and protect it from an infantry attack. Because I, I took two down right there, forward. and not once did I get shot off with a Titan. Now, <laughs> I try to play slow a little bit. Like when I play Battlefield 4, I try not to just run around blindly. I try to play kind of slow. And in here, I kind of do a little bit of both. Like, I try to move slow. I really didn't seem to get anywhere. I was still getting killed. And then I tried to rush. I was like, yeah, well, I'll just come running through. And then, you know, I died too. So I haven't quite found my pacing for this. Uh, my son says he just treats it like a running gun. Even with his sniper, he, he says he wants to run around and he's quick scoping. So I think this really does support more of that quick style of play, the running, because you got to get to your points. Like this was a hard point match, and I didn't really play to the objective because, you know, I was trying to advance, kind of try. In my mind, I was trying to advance the battle, support my infantry, and that enemy infantry, try to fight off the enemy Titan. But when you play like hard point or something where you've got those objectives, it really lends itself more to fast play style because you've got to get to those objectives and try to cap. And capping is easy, it's just like any other game. You just run to the spot where the cap is or that flag, stand near it, and eventually you're captured. You don't have to interact with it. So speed is actually not such a bad thing. Just go and get to those objectives. And that's how you're going to help win the match, more so than just how many people you kill. 
when you start just focusing on just the folks to kill, you're just padding your stats and you're not really helping your team win. Now, it kind of really depends on your play style, you might not care. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't care if we win, it's just a game. You know, you're here for yourself. Uh, so it kind of depends on your mindset when you play. And I definitely was not playing towards the objectives. Usually what I'll do is, if I play like I tried to sniper, I kind of really stuck around like one spot and kind of camped it. Because that's what I was in my mind. I was like, well, I'm a sniper, so I'm going to stand back and observe some of these uh, paths that the enemy could advance on and shoot their infantry as they come up. Because as a sniper, you actually feel like a sniper with like one shot and you to drop it. So it felt really good. But again, if you play the hard point, you might want to play, pick, play to the objective. So we lost. And now, this is the thing, you try to get to this evacuation ship. And I didn't do so good here. I thought maybe I would be safe. Because <laughs> here comes our drop ship to pick us up. And it came up behind us. And then the problem with that is I can't respond since the game is match is technically over. This is just you. I get, because I died, <laughs> I really don't know what I get if I make it to the dropship successfully. I don't know if I get some extra experience points or something like that. Uh, but I wasn't able to find out because I died. In the last few times where I died, I still couldn't make it to the dropship. My son makes it to the dropship. He doesn't seem to have any problem getting to the dropship, but me, I was standing right there at the dropship and still got backstabbed. Now, I don't know what that guy is shooting at. I don't know why he's shooting at our dropship, but uh, he just wanted to stay in there and shoot stuff. But that's pretty much it. That's the game in a nutshell. Um, after the match completes, you then get to check on your experience. You get to see what kind of things you've unlocked. Uh, so I had a few kills there. I died a bunch. That's typical for me. <laughs> Nothing new. Uh, then we get to see some of the unlocks that I pick up. They got me two pieces of equipment. I think I unlocked something for my character and something for my Titan. So this this is good. You do get some customization. You can make your custom classes. Uh, my son really likes to do that. And then we get to see some challenges. I actually cleared out quite a few challenges this time. But that that that's it in a nutshell. It's just a shooter game. Goals and challenges. So if you're interested... You know, watch some more YouTube on it. This is the only one I've got. But thanks for watching. All right, have a good day, everybody. Bye.